Hello, 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 my beloved learners. This week, we will start experience two, types of forces, contact and non-contact force. We will define each one of them. What do they mean? How to analyze, I quantify them. Also, we will talk about weight, which is the most important thing, the most important concept that students misunderstand. What is the difference between weight and mass? How do we calculate weight? The formula that we will be using to calculate weight. Never ever forget G. G is gravitational acceleration, which is always negative 9.8. It's a fixed number. It's an approximate number, of course. It differs uh, with the altitude, but it's always considered in our calculation as 9.8 negative. <clears throat> then we will talk about spring force and hot slow and spring constant F is equal to negative K, which is a constant here, times delta L. Delta L represent change in length, V uh, in which we will use the difference between the final position and the initial position. And always we love to graph in physics and we will use graph to understand more. Then we will head toward sample problems, determining springness. So here we have a question that we will solve it together in class to find L, to find W, to find K. How should we solve it in details and then evaluate our answer? And then this is your question to be done by my learners in class. Another question, also it's yours to do. Then we will explain the meaning of tension. What does it mean? And what is an electric force? How do we represent it? Understanding tension, we will understand it. And then we will talk about it and elaborate it more. Also, we are going to talk about surface forces. What is the meaning of surface forces? And then we will see what's the cause and effect. We will elaborate more. What's the meaning of friction? What's the normal? What's the static friction? What is kinetic friction? And the coefficient of friction. This is very important concept. Mu K, what does it represent? Times N, which is the normal force. An object is slid horizontally or at an angle. We will discuss all of that in our daily lessons. Then we will talk about modeling force in two dimension. We use to model it in one dimension. Now we will model it in two dimension and then we will apply that using series of questions that you will be able to solve it hopefully if you understand the lesson thoroughly we will solve two dimensional forces problems you will see how we will analyze it how is it done in each one of them then you need to rewrite your questions, your answers, etc. We have more sample problems, pulling sled, how to solve it in details. I hope you will understand this lesson and all of the lessons that we took so far and you are enjoying physics. Have a good day, everybody, and goodbye.